Here we are again with the market waiting on Powell and the Fed tomorrow. But for now, optimism continuing following Treasury Secretary Yellen's latest reassurances today about containing the bank crisis. Dow up over 301.1%, S&P and NASDAQ also up more than 1%. Regional banks recovering, led by First Republic, again on the heels of Yellen's comments that the government's ready to provide further guarantees of deposits. This two-day rally is now over 2% for most of the major averages ahead of the Fed tomorrow, of which expectations are for a 25 basis point hike, according to the CME FedWatch tool, pricing in an 83% probability of that. But as always, it's going to be, what does Powell say? Is he going to sound more hawkish, more dovish? And is the tightening cycle possibly coming to an end? VolQ and ES options. After spiking last week to 28, VolQ now sits around 23 or so, down 12% over the past month. Yesterday, 74% of all options traded, ES options, were put options. Very bearish activity today. Heavy activity in the end of month, 3,800 puts. ES option implied volatility at the money. Last week for this Friday was 38. That's now down to 30 now. Bitcoin continuing its rally back above 28,000 today. And exciting news from the CME, the just launched Micro E-mini S&P mid cap 400 and Micro E-mini small cap 600 futures. These indices are two of the S&P Dow Jones indices flagship U.S. equity benchmarks along with the iconic S&P 500 index.